everybody, welcome to another episode here on Jessica Smith TV. I'm Jessica, this is Peanut, and we're so glad that you could join us for this power interval walk today. So let's just get moving right off the bat, and let's talk about what's coming up. So if you're doing this part as part of our four week weight loss challenge, we're so glad you're here. This is day one. First of all, Happy New Year. We hope you had an awesome holiday season. Peanut and I certainly enjoyed that fun time of year. We indulged ourselves, we had a great time, but we're definitely ready to get back to working out. So we hope you are too. So today is day one. We're building the burn this week. We're just gonna progress our way back into working out. If you're new to exercise, we'll build you into it slowly. Just remember, we're all working at different levels. So we're gonna listen to our bodies as we go and just make this plan work for all of us, okay? So let's just really start to pick up the feet. We're driving the elbows back and forth. We're warming up while we talk. Good, now take the feet a little bit wider apart. Just take it out, take it in. Out and in, so you're just stepping out, bringing it back in. Good. So one of the great things that we've started doing here at Jessica Smith TV is using our Spark Activity Tracker. So this is by sparkpeople.com. I'm gonna put the information below in the video description. But many of you have been asking me, Jessica, how many steps are we taking? How many calories am I burning? While I can't tell you exactly how many you are burning, I will give you my stats. So it just gives you a little bit better reference for your workouts. I know some of you use those activity trackers, which is great. So if you need that information, it will be below in the comments too. Keep walking the feed. Give me two more. Good, last one. Now just give me a step tap, side to side, nice and wide. Starting to wake up the outsides of the hips and the thighs. Good. I have so much great info to share with you guys. I'm gonna do a lot of talking today, so I'm gonna apologize in advance, but I'll keep you moving the whole time. You know I will. Good, so keep tapping it out. Excellent. Now let's just make this a hamstring curl. Really pull your heel in tight. So another really exciting announcement that I had to share with you right off the bat is our new DVDs are finally here. It's been a labor of love. We're so excited to share them with you. We have our walk-on strength and balance, which is very similar if you like walking workouts, check that one out. And our bar fitness DVD, our very first bar DVD, is available. So again, links are below. Check them out, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this, just as in, as with as much anticipation as I have. Thank you for all your support. We so appreciate it. Good guys, give me four more. Three, two, let's walk it out, bring it back. Good, so now we're gonna really start to drive the knees up, check in the posture, shoulders back, abs in tight. We're just gonna do an alternating step knee. Lift it up. Good, just let your opposite arm kind of swing forward. Really think about activating your abs here as that knee comes up towards the chest. Lift it tall, good. So after we finish the warm up, we're gonna be going through some intervals where we purposely really spike the heart rate a lot higher. Now how high you go is gonna be up to you and your fitness level. So listen to your body. Remember you can make your intervals shorter if you need to. And I'll show you your recovery steps so you can always meet us back there if you need to cut it a little shorter. Good. Now let's reach the arms up and down. Up and down. Lift and pull. Good. Just waking up that upper body a little more. Starting to feel the heart rate climb a little bit more. Anytime those arms go overhead, we start to pump it up. You're looking great. Give me four, three, two, let's walk it out. Bring it back, good. So you all know that I love walking exercise. And I think it's a great way to start off the new year. We don't wanna just come out like gangbusters, right? That's how we burn out, we get tired, we get too sore too fast. So this is a great way to just get the blood flow and get those calories burning. Get you remembering how good it feels to sweat again, right? Picking it up. Perfect, now I just want you to do an alternating heel dig out to the front of the body. So you're gonna give me just a little lean back. Flex your foot, pull your toes back to your shins. Wake up those muscles in the front lower part of the leg. Good, eight more here. Seven, six, how's Peanut doing? She's practicing sleeping, of course. Good, three, two, last set. Let's take it back to that side to side step tap. Good, all right. So we're gonna move a little bigger now. We're gonna start to get out of the warm up, 
into the workout a little bit more. So I just want you to watch this first. We're gonna do a little bit of a side shuffle, tap, shuffle, tap. And I want you to really travel it. So it doesn't really have to be a big impactful jump. It's just kind of one foot replacing the other and you tap to switch. Yes, good. Now, let's get the arms reaching up as we do that shuffle. Why? Because it's gonna pick up that heart rate, right? Push, tap, push, tap. So if you need to stay lower the floor, just tap it the entire time. If you can go a little bigger, you need more of a jump. Good, either way, your energy is big on that reach. Press it up. Yes, good. Nice. Excellent. Now let's take it back to our walk. Just breathe. So you should have got that heart rate up a little bit. Maybe a little bit out of breath right now. It's good. Let's keep it moving. We're gonna do a step crossover kick. Kick it out. A little twisted upper body. Yeah, so let's make this a little bit more about your abs. And just bend those elbows up. Turn through your upper half as you kick that leg across your body. So it's like you're turning away from that flicking foot. Little dancey feel to it, but a great way to work those obliques. Yeah, can you feel it? Good, let's pull the abs in tight to the spine to engage them even more. But just make sure you can still breathe comfortably. Give me four, three, two, let's walk it out, bring it back. Good, now I want you to go back to that little out, out, in, in step that we did earlier. So it's out, out, in, in. You just step the feet wide, back together. Good, out, in, yes. Nice. Nice and quick with the feet, just wide and narrow. Beautiful. Now, let's take it down with the feet wide. We're gonna just do a little squat pulse. Hands are on the thighs. Step your feet together. Step out to your left. Good, so it's just a squat. Step back together, step out to the right. Together, two, out left, two. Hold that squat pulse, in and out, in. Now single this for me. We're gonna swing the arms, front and back. We're holding that squat position, sit back in those hips. Knees are behind your toes. Yes, yes, now we're gonna take this into an interval. Low impact, you're gonna tap the toe out and in, staying in that squat side to side. A little higher, a little harder, a little jump. Now it's a little jack, out and in with the feet from that squat position, a lot of thigh work. Good, and even though it's a jump, the thighs should be doing all the work here. Just let your arms swing naturally. Stay low, eight, six, four, three, two, take your feet wide, give me a hamstring curl. Woo, stretch out those thighs. Oh boy, they should need a little stretch here. Good, hands at the hips. Just breathe for me, you're doing great. Recover for a sec, come back out of that interval. Beautiful, give me your side to side taps. Focus on using the inner thighs to tap that foot in. Really squeeze it, yeah. Good. Now let's use the upper body here. As you step side to side, see if you can make a little arc with the arms. So I kinda like to use this as our rainbow motion. Up and over. Nice and quick, heart rate's climbing again. Good. Now if this bothers your shoulder, Here's another option. You can sweep it in front of your chest. Still intense. But remember, you're listening to your body. You're doing what works for you. Good. We got eight more. Six. I'm four. Three, two, let's walk and hold. Bring it back to your walk. How you feeling? We starting to sweat a little bit? What do you think, Peanut? She is like out like a light. Okay. Just breathe. So we're gonna do a nice power statue march. 
Sounds a little funny. But it's a nice, strong, powerful, moving march that requires us to balance for a second on one leg. You're gonna keep marching or jogging. I'm gonna show you once. You step, you hold, you step, you hold, you go back. Try it with me, two steps. You go one, lift the knee, step and switch. Go back, lift, back, lift. Big wide step forward, pause. Lift to the knee in front of the hip, step backwards. Step backwards, again, step front, step front. Now step back, knee goes in front of that hip. Four more, good. Practicing our balance. Remember, balance is just like a muscle. We gotta keep flexing it to make it stronger, make it better. Back, last one. Big wide step, use those abs, take it back. Yes, let's march and hold. Beautiful, good job. Excellent work, everybody. So we're gonna move on. We're just gonna do a little crossover cha-cha step. It sounds more complicated than it is. Your right leg crosses over, step back quick and switch. Left foot crosses over, one, two, three. So it's cross, step, one, two, three, switch legs. Cross over, step it back, one, two, three. Cross, one, two, three. You're turning your hips as you step. Up to tempo. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah? So the more we can twist here, the more movement, the more action happening through the body, pick up those feet like the floor is on fire. Yes. Cross, one, two, three. Good. Four, three, two, one. March and hold, bring it back. Just breathe. Excellent, everybody. All right, let's do a little front knee in place. You're just gonna step and lift the knee, but you're gonna reach your arms in front of you, pull back to your hips. Abs in tight. Give me a little bit of a lean here. So abs are in tight. I want you to think of breaking a board with your knee here. Smash it through, yeah. That's it. Really pull back. Now if you can, take your arms a little higher. Let's pump the heart rate more. Getting back into that big interval. Push the hips forward. Keep on breathing. Yes. Nice. Eight more here. It's eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, last set. Walk and hold, just breathe. We're gonna go back to your statue power knee walks. You think you got it now? I think you do. So just angle yourself if you need a little more room to travel. Big wide step forward. Lift the knee, switch legs. Step back, abs tight. Do it again. Forward, lift, step back, balance. Yeah, so make sure you pause for that one count to lift the knee and hold it. Four more, four, left. Good, big wide step back. Excellent, this is three. You got it. Big step. Two more sets, make it bigger. Really lift that knee. Good, so imagine you're gonna take a picture every time that knee lifts. Smile, last time going back. Walk it out, beautiful, hold it. Gorgeous, all right, let's do that crossover cha-cha. Nice and quick, this time let's start with the left side. Get ready. We're gonna go right into that up tempo. Ready, left foot, crossover, cha-cha-cha. Turn your hips, side to side. One, two, one, two, three is the rhythm. Crossing, switching feet each time. Crossover, cha-cha-cha. Good. And your arms are doing whatever they want. They can do our choo-choo train arms if you want. They can just boogie on their own. Four more guys, four, three, two, last one. March and hold, bring it back. Beautiful, we're gonna go right into those front knee strikes. Arms in front, pull it back. So remember, you can hang out here or go right into that higher reach with the arms. 
You're gonna pull the arms to your hips as the knee comes forward. Strike the knee. Push that pelvis forward. Keep your abs in tight. Activate those abs. Give me a good exhale as that knee is coming up. Yes, yes, that's it. It's four, three, two, walk and hold. Beautiful. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sweating. I hope you are too. Good, so we're gonna move back into a little side to side step tap. Take it right left. Good, so this is the move. It's a step tap. All you're gonna do is imagine we have a little box in front of us. We're gonna just travel this step tap to the front corners of the box. So you just took one step forward, now you're step tapping at the front corners. Step back to the back corners. Easy. Good. Take it to the front corners for two. To the back corners for two. Front corners. Back corners. Good. Now take it to the front. Take it to the back. Take it front. Take it back. Excellent. Front corners. Back corners. Step forward. Step back. So it's still just your side to side. Yeah, if you want more, give me a little dip in those legs. Down and up, but still side to side. Same pattern with the feet. Excellent, four more. Nice fancy feel to that too, right? Two more, forward and back. Last set, here we go, forward. Take it back, march it out, hold it. Great work, you guys. Keep on breathing for me. You're looking so good. All right, so let's move on. We're just gonna do a little heel dig, but we're gonna twist. So I'm just turning my hips, picking up my feet. So those of you on carpet, this should not be torquing your knees because you are lifting your feet each time. There's no pivoting. You're turning as you're stepping, okay? Keep the knees soft. So you're just doing that heel dig from corner to corner. Turn in the hips, yes. Now, let's take the arms out and across. I want you to imagine that you have a nice big can-can skirt on. Guys, you can imagine you're a matador and you're holding a flag for the bull. Women, you can imagine that too. We don't have sexist roles today. Whatever you want to imagine, a skirt or a matador flag. Whatever works for you, we're all about it. Yeah, good. Now, I want you to take it quick. So again, I'm picking up my feet. Quick, quick, quick. Little taps. I'm on the balls of my feet here. It's not a jump, it's just fast. It's like the floor just lit on fire. And you want to pick up those feet. Quick, quick. Four. Three. Two. Give me a hamstring curl. Woo! Good job. If that just blew your mind, don't worry about it. We're not gonna do that again. Hang in there with me. Remember, not everything has to be perfect. You don't have to get every little step. That's not what this is about. We're just about moving and grooving, having a good time, okay? So stay with me. Hang in there. You guys are doing great. Good, now we're gonna bring the feet together Give me a little calf raise. So this looks like I'm jumping, but I'm not leaving the floor. Imagine you have a jump rope. So you're gonna double time, circling the arms from the elbows. Yeah, circle it out, press up under the calves. Pressing up under the balls of the feet to activate the calves. Yeah, four, three, two. Now, you can stay with this calf raise or Give me a light little hop. Nothing major, up to you. Good, yes, walk it out, hold it, hold it. You're doing great, stay here. Let's walk it forward, take it back. Now you notice I don't have a lot of space, so my walk forward is a little smaller, but I'm still traveling. You can make this bigger or smaller too. Take it front, take it back, good. Two more, just walk, 
Just breathe. Take it back. Awesome. Come back to your calf raise. Circle the arms. Grab your jump rope again. Lift tall. Yes. So many of you have asked me to do a jump rope workout. The reason I haven't, I'm not good with a rope. It's kind of disastrous. So this is as much jumping rope as you're gonna see from me, sorry. Jump if you want, or keep that calf raise. Good. I'm all about keeping things safe here. Jumping rope with me, not so safe, not so pretty. Maybe one day if I have more practice, I'll let you know. Four more, three, two, one, walk it, hold. Good, okay, so we're gonna take that forward and back walk, but we're just gonna add a little punch front. So I want you to punch. Just alternate the arm, front, front. Yeah, I know, your arms and your legs are moving at the same time. It's a lot to think about, so don't think. Walk it forward. Walk it back. Good. Take it forward. Nice. Take it back. Now we're going to power it up. Give me two. Two back. Two front. Two back. You're still alternating that forward punch. Yeah. Try to keep it on the beat as best you can. Forward. Back. Forward. Back. Four more. Three. Almost there. Come on, two more sets. Last one. March and hold. Breathe. Good work, you guys. You're doing fantastic. Stay with me. We're gonna take the feet wide. Just keep them wide. Just breathe. Now we're gonna do that alternating heel dig, but we're gonna turn it side to side. So I'm bending my standing knee, flexing the outside foot. I'm gonna turn my body side to side here. Give me a little push with your opposite hand. Flex the hand, push through your palm. Give me that little lean away. Good, really flex that foot. Again, nice little breather. Yes, good, eight more. Six, four, three, now we're gonna stay wide. You're gonna just give me a little lunge, side to side. Bend your knees, push your hips back behind you. Now we're gonna keep the elbows bent. We're gonna drive back and forth. So we're getting ready to pump the heart rate again. We're gonna keep this one low impact. And I want you to just think about this as a skater that cannot travel. So imagine your feet are stuck. You're gonna keep shifting your weight. You're gonna go as fast as you can, side to side, stay low in your lunge. Looks like this, side to side. I know it feels a little funky. If you did my low impact hit, you've practiced this one before. Try the pump, side to side. So it's not a jump. Feels like a jump, but you're not really lifting the floor. Just your heels are lifting. Shift it. Yeah, four, three, two, hamstring curl. Pull it back, just breathe. Fantastic. Give me your heels, side to side. Give me the push when you want. How you doing? Yeah, are you good? Are you listening to your body? Good, so remember, you don't have to do every single thing that I do. You do your best. You make it work. Remember, if you're just starting out, it's absolutely fine to just walk in place, to grab some water. Remember, you can hit that pause button too. That's the awesome thing about video. You can take a breather. Just make sure you come back. Yeah, let's take it side to side. Good, so we really wanna make sure we're safe. The knees are gonna be behind the toes. You wanna push your hips way back behind you. Yeah, I'm just giving you a little side view. Let's take it as quick as we can, side to side. So I hold that lunge position, shift the weight, side to side. I love that we're working this hard and Peanut is just sleeping through the whole thing. <laughs> Thanks, Peanut, for the cheering on. Keep pumping, good. Shift it, yeah, Stilo, come on, let's pump it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, hamstring curls. Pull it in. Woo, you did it. Great job. Keep on breathing. 
Curl that heel, squeeze. Excellent. Let's take it back to your basic walk. Just breathe. So guys, here's the great news. This was a short little session. We're already done with the tough stuff. So we're just gonna start gradually bringing your heart rate down, preparing for our final cool down and stretch, and then you're done. How about that? It wasn't so bad, right? So remember, I want you to leave feeling like you wanna keep doing more. That's the point. Not to the point where you're just done for the rest of the day and all you wanna do is lie on the couch and watch TV and eat bonbons, right? We want you energized. We want you full of energy for whatever's, rest, whatever's left of the rest of your day. So you can smile and know that you got your sweat on already. You can check that off your to-do list. Good. Now, let's just do a little heel dig to the front. Nice and basic. Just breathe. Let it go. Arms can just kind of swing into it. Yeah. Now let's make that heel dig just a little kick. Easy. Just breathe in. You can reach your opposite hand towards that foot. Good, so nothing major. The intervals are over. We're just gonna recover now. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, give me your toe taps. We're gonna flex just the toes off the floor. Heels are staying down. So the whole front part of your foot is lifting, but the heels stay in contact. Yes. Now let's go up to tempo. Find that beat. Tap it out. Just breathe. You can let your hips get into it. Rock and roll. That's it. Tap, tap. Strengthen those shins. Four, three, two, and one. Step, tap side to side, just breathe. Let it go. Good, let's inhale the arms up. Now exhale, I want you to pull your shoulders down your back really strong. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, squeeze. So it's a nice relaxed energy on the inhale. Now on the exhale, tense everything up, pull down your back. One more time, inhale, soft and light. Squeeze and strong. Keep your feet wide for me. Bend your knees, take your hands on your thighs. Round and tuck your tailbone, arch, look up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's roll all the way up to standing. I'm just gonna keep this in a side view so you can see it better. Reach both hands in front of you. You're gonna open and twist, look back over one shoulder as far as you can. So my pelvis stays front, it's my upper body that's twisting. Come center, let's go the other direction. Open and rotate. Keep on breathing. Good, take it to the center. Let's just reach one arm out and over. Opening up the side. Switch sides for me. Reach it. Good. Now just step one foot in front, pressing the back heel down into the floor. Bend both knees, keeping the back heel on the ground. Stretch out the calves, stretch out the Achilles tendon. Sit back, shift your weight into that back leg. You're gonna reach your chest towards the thigh. Good, release it, change legs. So you're gonna press the heel down, bending both knees. Press the pelvis forward. Shift your weight back, hinge forward. Nice long spine. Good, roll it up. Let's open up the chest, hands behind you. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, clasp your hands together in front of you, round forward. Take it up, bring those feet together. Release your hands, give me a nice deep breath in through your nose. Add out through the mouth. One more time, filling up your body with oxygen and energy for the rest of your day. Let it go, give yourself a big hand. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this first challenge workout. I look forward to spending the next four weeks with you. Keep up the great work and I'll see you tomorrow.